So you can sit on a cushion or a folded blanket. And today let's take the flesh away from the sitting bones. So you can just kind of inch the flesh of the buttocks out to the sides and you'll feel your sitting bones drop a little bit here. And you can rock a little bit side to side for a moment, just equalizing the weight on your sitting bones. So you're finding center so that you're not leaning to one side or the other. Good, and then close the eyes and draw your attention to the tailbone. And can you imagine where the very tip of your tailbone might be? Right at the center between the two sitting bones. Relaxing the belly and allowing your breath to move downward into the belly, even the bowl of the pelvis. And we'll begin to scan the spine from that very tip of the tailbone upwards. Just mentally moving your attention up the spine. And eventually when you reach the top of the spine, take your time. You can imagine that the energy of the spine keeps going up through the crown of the head and beyond into the sky like a string or a light beam holding you up. And the shoulders are relaxed, but the spine may have lengthened slightly. And the chest might feel a little bit more open. And begin to deepen your breath a little bit more so that as you inhale, continue to inhale a little bit more at the top of your breath. And as you exhale, you might exhale a little bit more at the bottom. Starting to make your breath last about five or six seconds on the inhale. And five or six on the exhale. In Kundalini Yoga, we always tune in to our wisdom with the mantra Om Namo Gurudev Namo. And so you can begin to repeat this mantra silently to yourself Om Namo Gurudev Namo. And we'll chant it out loud a few times together. Let's rub the palms together. And bring the hands into stillness and draw this energy to your heart. Ever so slightly tucking the chin 
gazing at your third eye center right between the two eyebrows. It's an inward gaze, eyelids are closed. This is our wisdom center. So we're opening to the wisdom within and the wisdom that exists everywhere beyond time, beyond space. And this helps us to stay safe and relaxed in our practice, always listening to our body. Let's inhale together. And exhale all the way out. Deep inhale. And complete exhale. And inhale for Ong Namo. Ong. Gently suspend this breath. Feel the subtle echo of the mantra. Exhale, let it go. Let your hands rest on the knees. Let's come into a four part inhale with a smooth exhale. So we'll inhale in four equal segments, little pauses in between, and then we'll exhale. So this is for good positive energy. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale smoothly. Good, and continue. And your exhale can be through the nose or the mouth, whichever is more comfortable. You're welcome to make this a tiny bit slower.
And on your next exhale, you can release the breath. Allow your natural breath to take over. Notice any sensations. And come back to your five second inhale and five second exhale. And let the fingertips touch the earth. And as you inhale, you can fill the belly first, then the ribs, then the chest with breath. And as you exhale, go back the way you came. So releasing the chest, then the ribs, then the belly. And we'll add the arms with this, coming into sun breaths. On your inhale, as you fill up, reach the arms out and up, spreading through the fingers, lengthening through the waist as you press down through the sitting bones. Fingertips might touch at the top. Exhale, reaching out and down, spreading through the fingers the whole time. Moving at your own pace as you inhale, Mentally thinking sat, S-A-T, which means truth. As you exhale, mentally thinking nam, N-A-M, which means I am. Sat nam. The next time that the arms reach up. We'll exhale, bring the right hand down only and reach the left arm up and over to the right. Stay here, grounding through that left sitting bone. Opening this whole left side of the body. When you're ready, inhale to center. Exhale, other side. Grounding through that right sitting bone. When you're ready, take it up to center. Exhale, bend the elbows out to the sides. Fingers come in front of the shoulders, thumbs behind. Elbows stay lifted, but the shoulders relax. Inhale as you twist to the left. Exhale as you twist to the right. You can speed it up and speed up your mantra. Let the head fall. Inhale to center. Hold the breath, lift your pelvic floor, mulbund, inviting energy to rise up the spine. Exhale. 
Exhale, let it go, arms release. Interlace the fingers, turn them inside out. Reach it forward and then up and back. So you're arching the spine. Good, reach it forward again, rounding. And bring your wide fingers to the ground. Knees come to the ground, coming into tabletop. Wide fingers underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and begin to flex the spine. So inhaling as your spine like extends down, tailbone and crown lift. Exhale as you flex it up towards the ceiling, tailbone and chin tuck. Cat cows. Allow your whole body to loosen and become more supple with this. So as you continue, the spine is able to become more supple, like a wet noodle. And we're also strengthening everything that exists around the spine, that supports the spine. And this helps to wash the face and the brain, washing the mind with spinal fluid. You're welcome to speed it up if that feels good to you. And go as fast as you comfortably can for these last 10 seconds. Inhale into sway back to cow, lengthening your spine. Hold the breath, lift the pelvic floor, energy rising. Exhale, relax, sink your buttocks back by your heels and let your forehead down coming into baby pose. And last warm up today, you can spread the knees a little bit. Inhale to lift the gaze and glide your heart forward, forward, forward. Let your pelvis down. Maybe the feet come off the floor slightly. You're arching the back. Good. And on your next exhale, sink all the way back into baby pose. And we'll take a few of these. On your inhale, coming forward. On your exhale, sinking back. You're welcome to flow with the breath or you can take a couple breaths in each posture. Good, one more. And eventually pausing in baby pose. Good, and rolling up. And we'll come to standing.
So that you can stand up at the top of your mat and just make sure that you have space for your arms to move. So we're going to do a Kriya for new lungs and circulation. You can spread the toes and just have your feet about hip width apart. So there's just a little bit of space between the feet, maybe a few inches. And find that neutral spot for your pelvis where your pelvis is not tilting forward or back, but it's perfectly neutral. And then come into booty mudra. So your thumb and your pinky gently touch on each hand. And we're going to inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Exhale, reach them back and down. Start slow. Make sure that the knees are soft, they're not locked. Good, and then if it's comfortable, you're welcome to speed it up. If it's not, keep this pace. Good, as you continue, are you able to relax the arms and shoulders a little bit? Good, inhale the arms up. Squeeze the energy up as you stretch up. Exhale, relax. Now we're going to go the other way. So reaching the arms back and up, and then forward and down. And this time, your, I just wanna make sure that I'm doing this right, your thumbs are going to tuck in and you're making fists around the thumbs. Yeah, good. Ready, let's go. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, forward and down, start slow. Good, if you'd like to, go ahead and speed it up. Good, smile with it, a little bit longer. Inhale, reach it up. Mulvan lift, squeeze the energy up, stretch up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, reach the arms up with wide fingers. Exhale, bring your hands forward and down all the way towards the earth. And it's okay if they don't touch the earth. If they don't, you can always bend the knees a little bit so that they do. 
or you can touch the legs. And we're going to come into a chant here. Had, 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 had And this is about creative infinity. So all that creative energy that might exist in the body that even might be sleeping in this moment, we're going to wake it up. So each time we do that, we're going to uh, hit the hands on the floor. So let's do this first one together. Had, 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 had inhale, reach down. Exhale, bring it down for another round. And you can always hit the legs instead. Had, 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 had. Had, 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 Hadi. On the inhale, arms can reach out and up or forward and up, whichever you prefer. Had, 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 had. Good, get into it. Had, 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 had. Had, 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 Two more. Had, 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 Inhale, reach it up, squeeze energy out. Exhale, let it go. Beautiful, come down to seated with your legs out long in front of you. Have your hands behind. So we're going to lean back a little bit. And then Ideally, let me show you the full position and then I'll show you the modifications. So just watch first. Ideally, your, your legs are lifted and we're going to crisscross them. Actually, wait. First, we're going to lift and lower and then we'll crisscross, okay? So one option here, instead of lifting both, if that feels really hard today, you can lift one at a time. That's what I'm gonna do. So we'll start with that. Make sure your hands are in a position that's comfortable for you to be able to lift. Bring one up and down, and then the other up and down, or both. And you can always try for both once or twice. Now we're going to add breath of fire to this, panting like a dog, but through the nose. Keep going, lift the heart. Spread through your toes, wide toes like a fan. Inhale, 
Inhale, hold. Exhale, relax. Crisscrossing, lift them both up. Knees can always be bent here instead. Breath of fire, crisscross. When you need to, just take a break and then come back in when you're ready. Inhale deeply, lift the chest, lift the feet, exhale, release, let it go. Close the eyes, notice how the body feels, notice the lungs. When you're ready, release the legs into easy pose. And you can sit on your cushion again. Shoulders are relaxed. Draw your navel point just below your belly button. So if my belly button is here, my navel point is just a couple finger widths below. Just stabilize your whole body by drawing this point in towards your spine. Just a little bit, it doesn't have to be a lot. And then reach the arms straight forward in front of you. And we're going to crisscross them at the wrist. Good, breath of fire. Inhale deep. Hold. Exhale smoothly. Let the arms relax. And let the belly relax. Even the jaw and the mouth relaxes. Slowly start to walk your hands forward, coming into baby pose. And this time, if it's possible, let your hands rest back by your feet. You can always tuck a pillow underneath the forehead. And try to let the shoulders soften and melt downward. Imagine the back of your heart opening and softening. Begin breath of fire here.
Keep going. Inhale deeply. And gently gaze at your third eye center. Exhale, let the breath go. And if it's possible, you can interlace your hands behind you. If that's not accessible today, then just have your hands reaching out like airplane wings. And we're going to lift them up towards the sky and then lower them towards the back. Breath of fire. Good, tiny bit longer. Lifting and lowering. Inhale into the lift, lifting the hands away from the back. Hold the breath, lift more bund. Gazing at your third eye. On an exhale, release the arms, relax. And slowly roll it up. Come back to your cushion. Let your pointer finger and thumb gently touch in Gyan Mudra. And let the backs of the hands rest on the legs. Once again, let both sitting bones drop and do a quick scan from the tailbone up the spine, through the crown into the sky. This is a moment of meditation. It says to elevate your thoughts to the infinite, the unlimited and vastness of this universe. Become very light.
Take a deep inhale. And a smooth exhale. Just bring one hand over the heart and cover it with the other. Honoring this body for everything that it does for you. And bringing the hands so that the heels and the hands gently touch the temples and the fingers gently curl over the crown and just honoring this mind. Everything that it does for you. And then one hand over the heart, one hand over the navel point and just honoring this soul or light. And everything that it does for you. When you're ready, you can lay down on your back in Shavasana. You're welcome to place a pillow underneath the knees or underneath the head. Let your shoulders relax downward. Let the palms face up if possible. Allow your legs to be slightly separated. And let all of the effort go. This is our pose of surrender. And one of the reasons that we stay here for several minutes so that everything that we've done in this practice can circulate, distribute, and really be integrated and remembered in the body. So the more that you're able to sink and let go and surrender here, the more that that will happen. So I'll just lead you through a couple relaxation points as you rest here. Imagine that the tip of the tongue is relaxing and getting heavier. And the tongue gently widens in the mouth. Imagine all of the skin on the forehead relaxing and spreading towards the temples. Notice the eyelids closed. And can you relax the backs of the eyes? Can you let the backs of the eyes deepen? And let the back of the body where it's touching the earth soften and deepen. Maybe allowing the front of the body to melt a little bit more. You might notice the feeling of gravity and this embrace Mother Earth holding you to her with gravity. You can allow her embrace to be like a cocoon.
And you begin to deepen your breath. You can keep the eyes closed and just follow my voice. I'm beginning to wiggle the fingers. And wiggling the toes. And stretch your arms up over your head, getting long. Hug the knees into the chest, rocking them around. And keep your right knee hugged in and let your left leg relax long on the floor. And take this right knee across the body into a twist. And then take the other side with the other knee. And this helps to seal in our relaxation. Hug the knees into the chest. And let your knees separate so you can bring the soles of your feet together and try to rub the bottoms of your feet against each other. And at the same time, rub the palms of your hands against each other, sealing in these prana exits in the hands and feet so that this energy that you've created in this practice today stays with you for as long as possible. Release the feet to the floor and bring the hands over the heart. Noticing the power of your own hands. And you can roll over onto one side or rock up to seated.
One of our goals in yoga is to remember that we're not separate from each other and that we're not separate from everything around us. Remembering that we're connected. So you can close the eyes and bow towards the heart and as you bow towards the heart maybe imagining that everything that exists around you this whole world this whole universe you bow to as being a part of you as being one with you and as you live this day and breathe through this day, maybe breathing as one. I honor you, Satnam.